on everybody welcome to economy 9015 my name is brian and uh today we're just going to talk about what's been going on with me and uh why i hadn't been uploading any videos lately but uh here we go but the uh we've been in the process of getting some land surveyed over where near where my uh father-in-law mother-in-law uh live and so we are trying to uh We've got the land surveyed and we're in the process of getting the land in our name so we can get uh, trees cut down and, you know, along and along, ultimately build a house. Um, the house that we're currently in, we've been in for eight years. I've been in it since we've been married eight years, um, but I've been in it my whole life pretty much and what it is is a trailer in the back of it's been cut out added on about 400 square foot and it's been bricked all the way around some back in the 90s i think like 95 or something like that that was done when i was around five years old so uh we are running out of room there were plenty of room in there we was growing up but i guess different families have different ways they're not as organized as others but you know uh my wife loves to read and she 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 needs a place for her books and uh so we just decided to build a house and when we were looking at houses and it you know looking at the cost of building a, a two-story house um with anywhere from four to five bedrooms you know one of those rooms would be like an office library type deal and we found out it was very very expensive and so we went online and actually found an interesting thing called a barn dominium and so we got to looking at it and i talked to a contractor and he said yes yeah, actually around forty dollars forty to forty five dollars a square foot cheaper to build a barn dominium and i guess it's because you would be ordering just a metal shop building and pretty much uh, all that work would be done. You don't have to frame it up or anything. They deliver the building, put it up, and you're done, you know. And, of course, you do your piping, your concrete over all that. You got to make sure all that's right the first time around or it's going to cost you, you know. It can run up is just as much as a traditional house if you don't do it right. And you have to be careful and take your time with things and and research them and uh that's pretty much what we're doing is just taking our time with it researching it seeing what problems other people have been going through uh so if you have any information be glad to uh to inform us you know we'd, we'd be greatly appreciated of it and uh but i'm gonna show you the lot there's not a not, nothing uh special i kind of like living in the woods uh I like my peace. Um, whenever I want to go anywhere, I don't mind to travel a, a little ways to get where I'm uh, going. And where we live right now, it's about 10, 15 minutes uh, from the uh, nearest town. And out here, it's about 20 minutes. Uh, well, not actually. We'll get, it's a small town, uh, probably about 5, 10 minutes down the road. But 20 minutes, I guess, from the nearest Walmart is how you would normal people would gauge it even though i don't really go to walmart my wife handles all that but um anyway this is the uh property here let me spin it around and as you can see it's a two acre lot and right there where that little i don't know if you can see it here <coughs> where that little pink ribbon is right there that's that's actually the end of it i walked in here I think that's the, yeah that's the end of it they just cut some trees over here um all that i grew back up but anyway it's all back up in here it's raining right now uh so i'm not walking up in there but if you i don't know if you can see there's ribbons way back there that's pretty much it simple two acre lot nothing on it <clears throat> gotta cut all these trees get all the roots up uh my wife tagged a couple of them right there with the orange ribbons there. We might have to cut them down anyway. She she thinks she might want to keep. I don't want to keep any of them. I'd rather just plant, 
plant uh, the trees that I I want, but um, that was her decision. And that's pretty much it, guys. So we're going to be building a barn dominium. It's going to be around a 3,000 square foot living area, uh, two gar garage, and a hopefully a place to put the camper. And uh, what I'm going to try to do is try to figure all this up and where I won't have a car payment or anything. We'll just have the mortgage. And hopefully we can kind of what they call snowball the mortgage where a 30 year turn into a 15 year. We'll do it for 30 years, but end up hopefully paying it off a lot sooner. But that's what we're going to try to do. Um, but this property here is on her granddad. This is actually her granddad's property and her mom and dad's house is right up this driveway here. So as you can see straight in front of us is a driveway to the road and it's a really quiet neighborhood um, the loudest thing that happens around here is you know a lot of people like to hunt and uh, I've never been hunting but uh, I just don't really really care for it nothing against it just don't never went I'm more of a car guy um, but yeah this is the back of uh, their property here. And this is a two acre lot here, so our lot would be somewhat similar to this. <clears throat> but anyway, guys, that's kind of what's been going on with us right now or why I haven't been posting any videos. Um, no, I haven't given up on YouTube, even with the uh, demonetization. Uh, demonetization can't speak uh thing that's been going on um if it was meant to make money i'll make money which that's just i mean would love to make money who wouldn't but that was never really the uh the uh the main objective i guess um it was just a hobby and so i'm gonna continue to just make it continue to just do it as a hobby and if it makes money, it makes money. And again, I appreciate all the support from you. Uh, all the new subs. Um, I'll get the car, ten out, car uh, content out there as soon as I can. Like I said, I'm tied up with this right now. Um, trying to get my the money situation straight. Things are tight. Um, don't make so much. Uh, but anyway, I'll tell you kind of what the plan is right here. We're going to do a uh, some kind of... I don't know if we'll pave the driveway, gravel, whatever, but we'll, this would be real nice. Um, probably do some kind of nice thing right up in here. The house is actually going to face this way. Garage is going to be on this side, so you'll go in and the garage will be right there. But uh, more on that later. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll be filming some, like I say, some car content hopefully soon. Sorry, I just got over the, the flu. I still have a little light cold, uh, you know, runny nose. I think everybody's got it. If not, uh, you're very fortunate not to get it. I hope you don't get it. It's very rough. Um, but anyway, guys, I appreciate all the support. Hope you're having a wonderful day, evening, afternoon, whichever, whenever you're watching this video. And we hope that you continue to stay with us and uh, continue to uh, support the channel. And uh, make sure you uh, like this video and subscribe if you hadn't already. Um, we'll keep you updated on the home uh, that's going up back here, hopefully. Uh, we'll get started with that within a few months and cutting trees and stuff hopefully sooner than that but uh and uh i don't know just look forward to some videos you know i'm i'm kind of a random person uh i film whatever i feel like filming and uh i don't do this for anybody but myself and uh we'll talk to you guys later remember to subscribe like comment if you need to know anything i'll try to get back with you fast as i can 
Um, and anyway, guys, later.